Avengers the Kang Dynasty writer says that the new heroes in the MCU have no time, and Marvel Studios is taking them and throwing them right into the fray and the battlefield by not giving them a whole lot of time to shine, tossing them into the fire, and seeing what happens. Yeah, that actually makes a whole lot of sense on why you need this approach, because um, Kang is already here. So this, again, comes at us directly from SFX Magazine, where the writer of the Kang Dynasty and Quantumania talked about the approach to Phase 4, introducing these characters and what happens next, especially with the new characters and what they're going to do with them. And he said, without going into spoilers, Avengers the Kang Dynasty is going to take all the groundwork that Phase 4 did, which is introduce all these new characters, and unlike the previous phases, they can't waste time because the villain is already here. He's already had his presence felt in multiple other properties. The multiverse is already cracking open, incursions are happening, and characters are all over the place. So the only solution to Avengers the Kang Dynasty is to take these new heroes, who have just become heroes and are literally still learning the ropes, toss them up against Kang, and as he said, toss them right into the fire, toss them right up against Kang, and see what happens. How do they hold their own? How do they stack up to the old Avengers, and how out of their league are they at this point? And you know, this makes sense. Again, if you look at Phase 1, 2, and 3, it took so long for Thanos to arrive that you feel like it was orchestrated by the studio, which it was, of course, right? Because getting to the Avengers, they didn't know if it would be a success. Then Age of Ultron was a stopgap because they were already committed to that because, again, they didn't know if the Avengers would succeed. So they pushed the plans back for Thanos, and they had to take forever. And again, people will say, yeah, but tossing these guys right into the fire doesn't make sense. The MCU took their time. To the contrary, if you go back, you know, eight years ago, people were saying Thanos is lazy. He's taking too long. The MCU has no urgency. He's just waiting for these heroes to build themselves up so they can defeat him. So now people are flipping the articles and flipping the argument literally to be against Kang and what they're doing now, which again, I, I get it. People just they need the rage clicks, right? Um, but this makes sense. Kang is here. He's been here. The multiverse has been literally ripped apart. Incursions are happening. Things are going quickly. So of course, you're going to take these heroes, toss them into the new Avengers and go, have fun. Let's see what happens. And yeah, that's going to push us to Secret Wars, which again, he's telling us, you no longer have all these A-list Avengers. You have a bunch of new recruits and some newer Avengers because many of the classics are gone. Well, let's see what happens and how do they stack up when they're not ready. Again, there seems to be a lot of uncertainty when it comes to uh, what the Avengers can actually do and how are they going to be ready for Kang. Spoiler alert, they're really not going to be.